Our brains are composed by neurons which form links called synapses. Synapses communicate using neurotransmitters and all that we experience in our life is sensed through these. All of our senses, touch, smell, taste, even audition, is thanks to neurons. This information reaches another neuron and does this at an immensely fast speed, called the speed of thought. Electrodes create electric fields around our brain and detect the synapses in our brain, relaying it to a machine to have a better idea of our thought process. Our brain is composed of two areas, the limbic system and the cerebral cortex. Our cortex is why our consciousness exists, and Neuralink wants to create another area in our brain. They plan to increase the number of neurons to remember things or reach part of our brains that aren't active yet. This might seem a bit weird or something out of a science fiction film, but the truth is that it has amazing potential to benefit those with severe neurological issues or those who are paralyzed. On top of that, neurons do not reproduce like many other types of cells, as they are unable to perform mitosis. They can't regenerate and that's why they are so important. Yet, after we turn 25 years old, they start dying at an alarming rate eventually causing our brains to age until we die. Sounds terrifying, though there's hope thanks to Neuralink, founded by Elon Musk. Neuralink is a private neurotechnology company that first began developing implantable brain machine interfaces known as BMIs. Those are the machines we were talking about at the beginning that create a direct communication pathway between an enhanced or wired brain and an external device. However, many people wonder why this is necessary and how this is even possible. It's not exactly a technological issue as Neuralink is currently developing the exact technology to help them achieve this purpose. It's actually a bandwidth, speed and connection problem. It depends on how fast we can process this information into our brains. However, to do things, our human brain is limited in its ability. The speed of thought, as fast as it is, is limited on how fast it can do things and how fast we can process what we do. Imagine typing things on a computer. You can type as fast as you want, let's say 60 words per minute, which is well above average. And still, you'll be limited at that by the speed in which your neurons communicate with their synapses. Elon Musk has claimed several times that he aims to build a scalable implant that's going to connect human brains with computers by using Neuralink. He has already implanted these chips in rats and plans to test its brain machine interface within two years, including a long-term goal of people merging with artificial intelligence. Instead, Neuralink wants to do something revolutionary. They want to cut out the middleman between these processes and boosting your brain's bandwidth and speed to records never seen before. It's going to boost the speed with which we do things to a point never seen before in human history. Brain machine interfaces will develop a chip that will be fit up in your skull to measure parts of your brain used in several fields such as neuroscience, neurosurgery, and neuropsychology. BMIs can help people with clinical disorders by employing electrodes and these chips. These have allowed neuroscientists to create prosthetic limbs that work as well as normal ones by linking the nerves and synapses with the artificial limb. Most of these have been used for Parkinson's patients with a limit of 10 electrodes. Neuralink has developed a custom chip that is better able to read, clean up and amplify signals from the brain. Right now, it can only transmit data via a wire connection. It uses USB-C, but ultimately the goal is to create a system that can work wirelessly. That wireless goal will be embodied in the product that Neuralink calls the N1 sensor designed to be embedded inside a human body and transmit its data wirelessly. It may read fewer neurons than the current USB-based prototype. The N1 chip is made to communicate with other devices wirelessly and is capable of reading and writing information. The N1 sensor will be controllable through a mobile application, Bluetooth mouse and Bluetooth keyboard for helping patients learn how to use the chip effectively after implantation while they're at home. These chips are installed into your brain through threads and they contain 32 electrodes. They are extremely small, being 10 times smaller than a human hair. Neuralink wants to implant four of these sensors, three in the motor areas and one in the somato sensor area. It will connect wirelessly to an external device mounted behind the ear, which will contain the only battery. They are the size of a neuron, and since they are stuck in your head, it's a good thing that they are this small. Neuralink created a robot that can implant these with such precision that humans can't even do the same. They insert the chip with a needle in your skull to connect it with your brain, and each is responsible to record several neurons to analyze them, and also input data in a two-way communication. They'd be able to transfer information between a machine and a human being. The goal is to eventually begin implanting devices in paralyzed humans, allowing them to control phones or computers. 
The first big advance is flexible threads, which are less likely to damage the brain than the materials currently used in brain-machine interfaces. The system could include as many as 3,072 electrodes per array distributed across 96 threads. Let's take a moment to let that sink in and compare it with the current standard in which Parkinson's patients are only allowed a maximum of 10 electrodes at a time. Using this revolutionary technology for science purposes will prove to be a big step towards the evolution of humanity. The machine they developed to do this looks something like a cross between a microscope and a sewing machine. It also avoids blood vessels which may lead to a less inflammatory response in the brain. That's extremely important to note and is a good thing that Elon Musk and his team thought about beforehand, as humans have absolutely no way of implanting these chips with such accurate precision. If they were to miss, or even worse, hit a blood vessel, they might end up killing a person by accident. And if they're trying to help people with their technology, killing someone is not exactly what they're looking for. So, how are they going about implementing this technology in humans, and how much will it take them to do so? Right now, Neuralink is testing this with rats in order to make sure their platform is stable. However, if it works, then it will solve the crucial brain bandwidth problem via robot surgery. The connection made using thin, flexible threads would allow many neurons' activity to be recorded. The hope is for better, more precise outcomes than previous attempts at brain-machine interfaces. Neuralink mentioned in their July 17, 2019 presentations that a monkey implanted with their device was able to control a computer with its brain as well as decoding movement intentions in the motor cortex, which could allow a paralyzed person to control avatars or assisted robotic devices, Neuralink also stated that their technology could be used to decode speech intentions, which also originate in the motor cortex. In the future, scientists from Neuralink hope to use laser beams to get through the skull, rather than drilling holes. Elon Musk and his team have confirmed that achieving such technology would take quite a long time, and even more research, but this one's coming. Neuralink's eventual goal is to be able to achieve a symbiosis between artificial intelligence and people's brains. The first person with spinal cord paralysis to receive a brain implant that allowed him to control a computer cursor was Matthew Nagel. In 2006, Nagel played Pong using only his mind. The basic movement for this action took him only four days to completely learn. Since then, paralyzed people with brain implants have also manipulated objects with their minds and moved robotic arms in labs as part of lab research. There's always new technology coming up to change our lives, but Neuralink represents the advent of one of the biggest changing events that will change humankind. This invention is on the same scale as internet. It will change the speed with which we do things, the way we interact with other people, and will also save many lives. People don't realize how powerful this invention will be once it's reached its full potential. Things that were once impossible will now become possible for humans. So. What do you think of Elon Musk and his Neuralink team? Will they be able to merge human and artificial intelligence? 